we've been experimenting with UMW called a domain of one's own, a space of one's own, in particular to faculty and students. Like, what does it mean to frame your own space, your independent space, online? Because this is where the web is moving. And what we started to see, and this is without anyone really pushing, is we started to see faculty and students use this publishing platform to create their own CVs, to create their own aggregated spaces of the work they've been doing. Kind of like we saw with the personal website early on, right? The one we saw with Denny, is that his name? But the difference was, is that they could update this and change this in a minute's notice. This was an easy interface anyone could modify. And there's something else here. You see this? You see, if you're following along, there's a link that says susanfernsender.org. That's the professor, Professor Sue Fernsender. She's in the history department. And you'll notice this domain is hers, susanfernsender.org. Yet we're still hosting it on UMW blogs. What's happening here? is we're allowing any student or faculty with a, basically with a very simple add domain feature to add their own domain. Now you might be thinking like, okay, that's kind of a cool bell and whistle, right? But I actually think, to go back to the early part when I was talking about IT infrastructure, it's extremely important feature. And why? A couple of reasons. Let me give you the first. This idea of a domain, a space, that is kind of independent, but part of the university space, is something we should be pushing our faculty and students to more and more. Why? Well, as students come into the university space, right, they're given the email, the personal space, the storage space, all that stuff, right? And then they spend four years there, and then we take that all away from them, and then they leave. So we basically sever our relationship to our alumni, who are some of our most important kind of donors, kind of uh, examples of the work we did. And the ability to follow the work they're doing over time seems key to what we do. But if we say to this, and this was my idea to kind of up the Boston College thing is, have them come in and say, you know what? Get your own email, get your own domain. Do your work here. We'll support you. We'll host it at susanfernsender.org or wherever. But when you're ready to leave, we'll give you the export, and we'll let you show you how to put it wherever you want, host it wherever you want. You can host it on Google Sites for free. You can host it on WordPress.com, wherever you want. But that remain consists or keeps a consistent identity across space and time. And those links and those relationships that they create at that space remain consistent. Because what is a URL? A URL is an address. And I'm at jimgroom.org or babatuesdays.com. That's my address. That's part of my identity. And that will be consistent whether or not I'm at UMW. That space will be consistent and have a consistent series of links to me and to who I am. And I think more and more when we're thinking about learning and teaching and learning in the 21st century, this idea of a portfolio, this idea of a domain, a space where students define who they are, who those links that come in are one of the ways we're measuring trust, or one of the ways they're defining who they are online. When people search for them, 